we're all about unmet needs and it's not just patient care, it's patient trials. And now we have patients driving their own cures. It's just phenomenal. I think in my career in the field 21 years as a paramedic, I have an understanding that terrible, awful things happen to good people and there's no explaining it. You don't have control over some of those things, but you have control over how you react to them. The same week my youngest daughter turned one, I was diagnosed with stage four lung cancer. To be actively parenting when you have to deal with a diagnosis like this just was, seemed hideous to me at the time. And it is, but I've come to appreciate also that it's given me so much to fight for and live for. In the early days of my diagnosis, Regina came across the Adario Lung Cancer Foundation. That first phone call that I made was one of the first times I didn't, I just I felt, didn't feel alone, like they even like right away rattling off game plan stuff. Like it just felt very empowering and um, hopeful. You know, I think one of my biggest things through my disease has been advocating for myself and they were really proponents of that, uh, being a self-advocate, um, pushing for the genetic testing. This testing, it is the key to this whole thing. Cancer is progressively being looked at as a collection of multiple diseases, each one of which is driven by a different kind of alteration in the genome. They call these driver mutations, EGFR, ALK, ROS1. Imagine it at school bus where there's an actual physical driver and your driver is named ROS1. And if you can block him or knock him out, then the bus can't drive anywhere anymore. When I found out that I was ROS1 positive, that was like the ticket. If you could be matched up with one of these labels that you know, has a drug or is, you know, they're gonna now develop a drug for, that was the key to this game. And of all the things that are going wrong with all this, this felt like the first thing that was going right. I remember that day just feeling like, not just the word hope, but like, it just, there was a peace. I haven't had that. Dr. Kamish is known as one of the gurus of ROS1. And I asked him this specific question, what can I do? What's going on for ROS1 research? Well, one of the things about rare diseases is they're hard to study. ROS1 is only about one or two percent of lung cancer, so it's pretty small. Any individual cancer center, no matter how large, is going to have a small number of those cases. And I said, well, what if, what if the patients do that work? We'll, we'll talk to each other, we'll gather ourselves. So she sent me an email and invited me to join this ROS1 Facebook group. Eventually we hit about 50 people in our Facebook group and that's when I called up Bonnie. And they said, you know, we've been talking and do you think if we raised money for you to do a special project just for our marker, our ROS1 mutation, that that might work? And I took that to our team and honest to God, I can honestly tell you, you know, minutes, everybody said, we're in. The Adario Lung Cancer Foundation knows that precision medicine is the future, that everybody's gonna be a small slice of the pie. What we're looking at is curing by genomic markers, rather than try to go after the entire population of lung cancer, go after it piece by piece, marker by marker. And Alchemy is totally positioned to facilitate research like this. We did the Genomics of Young Lung study actually in record time. They're fighting for us. They're putting it into action and making it happen. So I think that's the reason why a guy like Ross Kamich would rally and, and work with the Adario Lung Cancer Foundation and why pharmaceutical companies are partnering up. The Adario Lung Cancer Foundation is led by Bonnie Adario, who's a patient herself. She's been there and that allows people to trust her. And when you want people to collaborate together, she is able to be the ultimate diplomat in terms of bringing people together for the greater good. And now, in our initiative, we have 120 ROS1 fusion positive patients from 12 different countries working with us on this initiative. So if you think about what the ROS1 group is doing, the very first thing they're doing is saying, well, okay, we've all been touched by the same thing, why? Uh, typical epidemiology surveys of this nature take years to complete. We will be presenting the results from this survey already because these patients helped us get there. And it's amazing, it's such a big uh, footprint 
for such a relatively small organization and it's so personal. Now we have these two amazing entities with patients in the middle and we have this engine that just can't be stopped now. I mean, we're just gonna keep moving until the job is done. Our next goal is to start gathering tissue samples from ROS1 patients. And then eventually as we build up this knowledge, we can have an informed decision as to, well, what is the next treatment trial we use? And ROS1 is just one example. The idea here is use this as a prototype for us to expand along all of these different individual slices of the pie. Could we think about using the C word? Could we ever think about using the cure word for lung cancer? And I believe that with enough research, with enough out-of-the-box thinking, with enough resource, that we can achieve that. But it's going to take a lot of hard work. I mean, even, even if this research doesn't come to fruition in time for me, I feel like I feel like I've done something with this diagnosis and I wouldn't have been able to do that without Bonnie's example. You're part of our community. You are all part of why we do what we do. When our patients win, they win because of you and because you're part of the team. Having the support of the people who are doing research, people who are fundraising, making donations, supporting the Adario Lung Cancer Foundation. And they may never meet me, but they're having a profound impact on me and my family. These girls have an awesome dad, and they deserve to have him their whole lives. He's, he's a force, and, and, I, and, and I want him with them as long as possible. I really believe that for the first time, for the very first time since we started this foundation, that cures can be a reality. We can do it. It's no longer a dream.